The most complex scene of the tour is the flight over the ISS. This was done in virtual reality using an Oculus Rift and is intended to um, be seen best in that way. But it meant that every keyframe uh, had to be set in 3D space and, it was, and you had to uh, use knobs or you had to use some interface to do that. And so the technique that I used was to, um, uh, uh, so in preparation for um, putting the pieces together into a white telescope, the ISS reference frame is uh, updated with the uh, updated coordinates of where the ISS will be at any, any time dynamically. So that's, that's done every time you start up a worldwide telescope. It comes with this model um, done by a colleague of ours, uh, 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 Toshi, uh, uh, and he did a fantastic job of making this incredibly detailed ISS model. I made a camera that I used to manipulate around the model, and then um, for the next scene, I made a, uh, a small uh, uh, object that's going to fly past the, sta the station, uh, I call it Zing. Uh, but all these are with respect to the International Space Station reference frame. So, if I want to, uh, if I want to uh, move the camera, this ISS camera, which is us, through the reference frame, I essentially turn on uh, uh, view, stereo, turn on Oculus Rift. If I do that now, you won't see it, so I'm not going to do that. But if I click on this, it'll, it will then be displaying in the Oculus Rift. Um, what I do is I went to uh, a different controller setting. So I, this is the uh, Newmark dj to go um, uh, MIDI controller. It's very inexpensive and it's very functional with a, with a variety of different knobs. But I would I mapped translations of the camera, uh, a reference frame translation, into into three knobs that are, I can easily tell by touch. And so because once I have the goggles on, I can't really see where I'm where I'm, I'm um, grabbing or a mouse would be a bad interface. But uh, I also don't enable any other functions except for these. That way I don't accidentally do something I didn't mean to. So um, I'm going to show you what this is like, not with the, with the uh, DJ to go, but rather with the um, with a uh, on-screen controls that I've done here in the view settings. Um, so this is like moving the different knobs. But if I, if I have this, this camera selected, as I move these sliders, I'm moving the camera relative to the ISS reference frame. So the ISS model stays basically the same in the reference frame and then I'm moving the camera with respect to it. It does take a little bit to figure out what X, Y, and Z really mean um, in terms of up, down, left, right, that sort of thing. But what I would do is I would move the camera at a certain time and then I would make a keyframe. I'd move this up and down and then I would under camera say create keyframe and then that puts a frame there that I can then um, uh, move in time or um, see how that interpolation between one time and another actually makes the final camera path. By increasing the number of keyframes I have more control over the camera path but sometimes it makes it uh, jerkier at the interface coming into and out of a frame unless it's along uh, a fairly gradual curve that you've already defined because of other the speed of other things. So uh, essentially this is how uh, with these keyframes are how um, you put things in a particular location, you save a keyframe for that for that for that camera. Now if, by the way the keyframes that I, that I save for this this motion are actually have to be the keyframe of the ISS camera. So before I actually did the wrong thing I did it on the on the camera. But here I would say ISS camera um, and then move these sliders uh, and then ISIS cameras highlighted here in the timeline editor now keyframe now when I move this it does a different motion because of, of the keyframe I added so uh, this took a lot of work in VR to get the timing right um, move it around there's some things like moving a keyframe you have to do interactively you have to you know click on this um, I did find that uh, you could put the goggles on, kind of click the um, the slider, move it back and forth, what without having to see what you're doing. But it, it, you tried to minimize the mouse interaction as much as possible because it isn't really designed for that. Uh, so uh, that's how we did the ISS.